Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Christian Dorsey. And on behalf of my colleagues here on the county board who are all seated behind me, and we're pleased to be joined by Mary Kadera, a member of the Arlington School Board. If you'd like to welcome those of you who have joined with us today and to those who are tuning in on the live stream of this remembrance. Today, we are gathering to pause to remember those lives that have been lost to COVID-19 in Arlington. It has been almost two years to the day since the first deaths of Arlingtonians were reported in our community attributed to COVID-19. That date was March 29th, 2020. We are joined here today by some very special guests seated in the front row. Our members of Arlington's complete vaccination committee, please raise your hand to acknowledge yourselves. It has been their efforts and efforts of our entire community, including our county manager, who took on responsibilities for managing us through this pandemic, our public health director, Dr. Ruben Varghese, as well as first responders, uh, represented today by our fire chief, David Pavlitz. We are also very pleased to have joining us today from the United States Army, the brass quintet, quintet of the U.S. Army Band, known as Pershing's Own. <laughs> to begin our remembrance, it is my pleasure to introduce to you Arlington's second Poet Laureate, who will share a work with us this afternoon. Her name is Holly Karapetkova. And Arlington's Poet Laureate serves as an advocate for poetry and the literary arts and works to advance Arlingtonians' consciousness and appreciation of poetry in its written and its spoken forms. The Poet Laureate represents Arlington's commitment to fostering a creative environment that encourages collaboration, innovation, and community participation. Holly is also an Arlington resident and she's also a professor in the Department of Literature and Languages at Marymount University. And she's the author of two award-winning books on poetry, and we are pleased for one of her first public events since her appointment coincided with the early days of the COVID pandemic, for one of her first public events to share her art with all of us. Holly. Thank you, Christian. I'm honored to be here with you all today on this important occasion um, to mourn our losses, but also to celebrate the resilience of our community. Um, the past years have been really difficult for all of us. I too suffered losses during the pandemic. And last winter, the winter of 2021, was one of the most difficult points in my life. Um, I was grieving. I was also helping my students. I'm a teacher. I was helping my students grieve their losses and deal with their mental health challenges due to the, the social isolation and quarantine. Um, my kids were exhausted from virtual school. And so my daughter and I decided to plant a garden. And this is a poem I wrote specifically for this occasion today, but it's based on my experience a little over a year ago. And it's called Planting. My daughter and I are planting seeds. It's early spring the long COVID winter behind us, more uncertainty ahead. We've stopped numbering our griefs, started holding tighter to the loved ones still with us. I dig small holes with my fingers and my daughter drops in seeds, then we both smooth dirt on top. When she was younger, she worried the seeds, when the seeds disappeared, She'd try to dig them up again to make sure they were okay. Now she's older, patient. She knows to leave them alone, to water them, and wait. Every day she goes out with the watering can to check, and one afternoon, about a week later, she's jumping by the window, motioning for me to come outside and see the small green sprouts that will become lettuce or peas. Wow, she whispers. And because her wonder is contagious, 
I allow myself to be amazed too by how the earth keeps going, putting forth its tiny seeds after every long winter. Having faith, some of them will dig in roots and grow. Thank you. Thank you both to the Brass Quintet and to our Poet Laureate for adding such meaning to today's events. I'm Katie Crystal, the chair of the Arlington County Board, and I'm so glad to have this opportunity to share a few remarks to those who've joined us today. We are now marking an anniversary that none of us expected when we first began to try to bend the curve. Two years of living with and seeking to overcome COVID-19. In those two years, 321 Arlingtonians have lost their lives to this pandemic. And for so many of these months, the pandemic also denied the most basic and familiar, familiar customs in which we honor and remember our loved ones, the collective rituals that allow us to begin the grieving process. Throughout Arlington, our neighbors grieved alone denied the wakes that would celebrate the lives of their loved ones, the funerals that might have brought the comfort of familiar prayers, the warmth of visits from family and friends while sitting Shiva. Social scientists project that for every COVID death, nine surviving Americans will lose a grandparent or parent or sibling or spouse or child, which means that nearly 3,000 members of our community or those with close ties to our community have been managing through a grief as unfinished as their losses were sudden. We cannot restore their loved ones, but we can listen and we can support, and above all, we can honor their memories. And so we come together now as a community to acknowledge those we lost and to pay tribute to all they gave us, not because of the tragic ways in which they lost their lives to COVID, but because of the incredible lives they gave and all that they gave to our community. We come together now to remember those lives, to think of the neighbor who tended to the beautiful rose bushes, or the colleague with the distinctive laugh, or the favorite patient with the best stories about their great-grandchildren. Their lives enriched our county, and their memories will be a blessing to all of us. We will now be joined by members of our complete vaccination committee who are prepared to ring chimes one each for the 321 Arlingtonians lost to COVID over the past two years. We welcome those members of the CVC, and if you're able, please stand while they do so.
thank you all. And thank you, members of the Complete Vaccination Committee, for that solemn tribute, but also your entire work during the pandemic to help make sure other people could be safe. And our responsibility to those that we lost is to not only gather on this day to remember them, but to keep them in our hearts and remember them always. So I will invite you to participate with me in something that is borrowed from the Jewish tradition. As is common for many religions, there are rituals to remember those that we never want to forget. And so for this litany of remembrance, I will issue a call. It will be very apparent when I stop. And at that point, I will invite you all to respond by saying, we remember them. At the rising of the sun and at its going down, at the blowing of the wind and in the chill of the winter, at the opening of the buds in, and in the rebirth of the spring, at the blueness of the skies and in the warmth of the summer, at the rustling of the leaves and in the beauty of the autumn, at the beginning of the year and when it ends. As long as we live, they too will live, for they are now a part of us as we thank you all for joining us today and may you all go in peace. Thank you.